Okay, so Junior Roberts here again, and uh, we have another worked example. Um, so we're just going to go right into this question here. So this question here says, a ruler of uniform thickness measures 240 centimeters. The ruler is supported at its center, and three forces F1 of 5 newtons, F2 of 8 newtons, and an unknown force Fx acts at the 240 centimeter mark. 60 centimeter mark and the 0 centimeter mark respectively and the ruler is in equilibrium so the question wants us to actually calculate the magnitude and direction of the unknown force fx uh, so that the system is in equilibrium so to solve this question and the first thing that we would want to do is to make a simple sketch of exactly what's going on so uh, I'm gonna uh, make a sketch right here so let's say this is our ruler right so a ruler and it is supported at the question said it's midpoint so let us say this is our midpoint right and the length of this ruler right from here to here is 100 i mean it's 240 centimeters or we can say it's 2.4 meters Right, so we're going to convert 240 centimeters to meters. We simply divide by 100, so we'll get 2.4 meters. So the length of the ruler is 2.4 meters. Now we're told that a uh, force of F F1 of 3 newton is acting at the 240 centimeter mark, or 2.4 meter mark. So we have a force F1, so we can put in F1 right here, right, and F1 is 5 Newton, right, we also have a force F2, and that force is 8 Newton, and it is acting at the 60 centimeter mark, or the 0 0.6 meter mark, so it's going to be about halfway here, because here we have 0, halfway would be uh, 1.2, so half of 1.2 would be 0 0.6 meters. So we have our 8 newton force at this point, and then we have an unknown force Fx, and Fx is acting at the 0 centimeter mark. So we can put in Fx right here, right? And the question wants us to, let me just put in some dimensions for the lens. So right here, to right here, would be, 0 0.6 meters All right from here to here would be 1.2 meters similarly from here to here would be 1.2 meters so in order to have our diagram, uh, we can start to uh, solve our question. So the question wants us to calculate the magnitude and direction of the unknown force so that the system is in equilibrium. Now this word is a very important word to us because it's going to help us to solve our problem. Because um, we're going to consider a system in equilibrium. And for any system in equilibrium, we can apply what we call the principle. Principle of moments right and what the principle of moment says that uh, for an object in equilibrium the sum of the clockwise moments about any point must be equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments about that same point so we can write it mathematically as the sum of the clockwise moments about any point must be equal to the sum of the anti-clockwise moments about that same point. So we're going to use this expression here to help us in solving our problem. So first of all, let's look at our forces. So we have a four unknown force Fx. We have an 8 newton force and we have a 5 newton force. Now in terms of the turning effect that will be produced by these force, this 5 newton force will produce a clockwise turning effect and cause this object to turn in this way. This 8 newton force will produce an anti-clockwise turning effect on our unknown force Fx. We're not sure 
the type of turning effect that it will produce. So I'm going to assume. So assuming. Assuming fx produces a anti-clockwise moment so i'm assuming that fx will produce an anti-clockwise moment so uh knowing that i can you now go ahead and apply my principle of moment so we're going to start by again listing our clockwise moments so we have one clockwise moment in this case and it's our and it's caused by our five newton force and again our five newton force is acting 1.2 meters away from our pivot so we can write uh, 5 newtons multiplied by 1.2 meters and that clockwise moment must be equal to the sum of our anti-clockwise moment and again our anti-clockwise moment will be produced by a 8 newton force right here acting 0 0.6 meters from the pivot and our unknown force fx so we can write then that um, 8 newton multiplied by 0 0.6 meters plus fx and fx is acting at 1.2 meters away from the pivot so we'll have fx times 1.2 meters so so once we have this now we can start to simplify so uh, taking out our calculator we can say 5 times 1.2 gives us an answer of 6 newton meters and that is equal to uh, we're going to say 8 times 0.6 gives us an answer of 4.8 newton meters and that is added to fx times 1.2 meters so now we can start to simplify so we have 4.8 newton meters on this side so we're going to subtract same from both sides so we'll subtract 4.8 newton meters and then we're going to subtract 4.8 newton meters so when we do that we'll get something looking like this so we'll have 6 newton meters minus 4.8 newton meters is equal to we want to subtract 4.8 newton meters from this side both will cancel so we're left with fx times 1.2 meters now we are interested in finding the unknown force fx so we can simply do that by dividing both sides by 1.2 meters so we'll divide both sides by 1.2 meters when we do that now We'll see that fx will be equal to because if we take the difference of this we'll get let me just do it in the calculator so first we'll say 6 minus 4.8 that gives us gives us an answer of 1.2 then we're going to divide that now by 1.2 meters and get an answer of 1 newtons All right so our unknown force fx has a magnitude of 1 newton However, the question wanted, wanted us to find the direction of the unknown force. Now, earlier, I had make, made an assumption that the force Fx would cause an anti-clockwise turning effect. Now, because of the positive sign on my answer, it means, that, it means then that my assumption would have been correct. However, if I had gotten a negative answer, it would mean that my earlier assumption was incorrect and the direction would be opposite to what I assume. So, uh, again, this was Junior Roberts. Um, if there was anything in this video that uh, you need more clarification on, please post in comments and I will do my best to clear up any misconception for you. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you believe that others might benefit from it, please consider sharing. Hit the, hit the like button if you haven't liked this video. That's it. Subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll be updated whenever I post new videos like this. Thank you for watching.